If you think you're a fan of Marvel, how many of these 50 facts do you actually know? From a second Infinity Gauntlet to a government-funded study into Thanos, here's 50 facts I bet you didn't know about Marvel. Have you ever wondered who cleans up the mess after the superheroes and villains battle it out? Well, it turns out there's a top-secret organization that takes care of all that, the Damage Control Crew. It would have cost the state around $50 billion to clean up after the Battle of New York. You could have a Disney Plus subscription for over a thousand years with that kind of cash. If they knew we were telling you this, we'd be in big trouble. Speaking about a lot of money, have you got a comic book collection? Well, some of them might be worth quite a bit of money. Amazing Fantasy number 15, which featured Spider-Man, sold for a whopping $3.5 million in 2021. Iron Man, with his $12.4 billion net worth, could buy it 3,000 times and still have change. Do you know that Marvel weren't the ones to create Venom? It was originally a fan creation, made by Randy Schuler for a fan contest organized by Marvel. It's a shame he only got $220 for it, though. <laughs> However, the creation of Captain America was a bit more questionable. During World War II, he was made as a propaganda piece for the United States Army. Did you ever think just how many comics Marvel's released? It's estimated that they've published over 35,000. That's including over 70,000 characters. Can you figure out whose mask was inspired by Doctor Doom and elements of samurai armor? Let me put you out of your misery. It was Darth Vader. Talking about inspiration, did you know where Stan Lee got his idea for Galactus and the Silver Surfer? God inspired Galactus and Satan the Silver Surfer. Puts a different light on the characters, doesn't it? If you thought that was strange, you wouldn't believe what Michael Jackson tried to do. He wanted to be Spider-Man, so he tried to buy Marvel. What would you think of a Michael Jackson Spider-Man film? Speaking about the wall crawler, were you surprised when Tom Holland got the role for Spider-Man? So was he. Apparently, he only found out when he saw the Instagram post announcing it. But who else was being considered before he got the role? Jake Gyllenhaal, who played Mysterio, was actually in the running to play Spider-Man. Imagine him as an older Peter Parker. Did you know that the cafeteria scene in the 2002 Spider-Man film wasn't actually CGI? Tobey Maguire took 156 takes to get it right. That was tricky. Think you could get it right on the first try? Here's something you probably didn't know. The language the Wakandans speak is actually real. It's a variety of Kosa, which is mainly spoken in Zimbabwe and South Africa. Nancy Inyani Malanga ne Marvo Kunye no la Wulo Iweo Kui Comics. If you thought that was cool, how about this one? In 1984, Marvel almost bought out their rival DC, but the deal fell through because of a lawsuit, claiming Marvel was monopolizing the comic book industry. Imagine a world with Superman fighting alongside Captain America, or Batman battling Dr. Octopus. Who do you think would win a race between Quicksilver and The Flash? Well, since there was a Marvel and DC crossover where Quicksilver challenges The Flash to race, we know the answer. The Flash wins. Speaking about crossing over, ever wondered where the idea of Deadpool came from? He's based off of Deathstroke. Even his name refers to Slade Wilson's. But their personalities couldn't be more different. We all remember the late great Stan Lee, who made the characters we all love. He made a total of 37 cameos across all Marvel films and shows, such as his appearance in Endgame his last cameo before his death in 2018. Stan got paid a lot for each one, so it's not just a fun easter egg for fans. And Stan Lee's creation reached unseen heights with Endgame. It was the first film to earn one billion during an opening weekend. But do you know where it all started? Human Torch was the first ever comic book published in 1939, under timely publications which later became Marvel Comics. And if you thought that was interesting, listen to this. October 9, 2016 was declared Stan Lee Day in New York. What were you doing on Stan Lee Day? Have you ever wondered which comic's the most popular? Well, X-Men number one is the highest selling comic in the US. It sold over 8 million copies. Wow! We all like Drax, but did you know he was originally just a common character killed off by Thanos? Thankfully, he didn't stay that way and became Drax the Destroyer. Will you miss the character when he leaves the MCU after Guardians Volume 3? Speaking of the Guardians of the Galaxy, I bet you didn't know this about Star-Lord's Chris Pratt. He, like many other actors who love their costumes, stole his Star-Lord costume. However, his reasons weren't entirely selfish. He took it so he could visit children's hospitals in character. If you could have any hero's costume from the MCU, who would you choose? But Chris Pratt wasn't the only actor being cheeky. Robert Downey Jr. reportedly hid snacks all over the Iron Man set, taking bites in between takes. Have you ever wondered what happened to those massive letters on Stark Tower? Well, wonder no more. Apparently, Marvel gifted the massive A to Robert Downey Jr. after the film wrapped. But the original actor for the role of Iron Man was Tom Cruise. When Tom rejected the role, RDJ managed to get the role. But it wasn't easy because of his reputation as an alcoholic. It took Jon Favreau's efforts to convince Marvel he was right for the role. Do you remember Jarvis, Iron Man's trusty AI? 
His name stands for just a rather very intelligent system. Would you like your own AI butler? Like Alexa, but a billion times smarter. And Jarvis sure was a quick way for Paul Bettany to make a quick buck. He only took two hours to record all of his lines in Iron Man. I bet he earned a lot more than just a buck, too. But did you know this one? Baby Groot has no special effects on his voice. No, it's all thanks to Vin Diesel's voice acting skills. Which Groot was your favorite? Baby Groot, Teen Groot, or the original Groot? Unlike Vin Diesel, who just did voice work for his role, James McAvoy actually shaved his head for the Xavier role. But unfortunately for him, he didn't realize he'd be playing a young Professor X, so he had to wear a wig. But McAvoy wasn't the only one who had dedication for the role. Did you know the length Jeremy Renner took for the role of Hawkeye? He trained with Olympic archers to make sure he was perfect for the role. However, did you know that several other actors were considered for the role of the Ancient One? Morgan Freeman and Bill Nye were considered before Tilda Swinton finally got the role. One thing you might not know is how secretive the MCU is. The actors didn't even get the whole script. Robert Downey Jr. was the exception in Endgame. Could you have kept that ending secret if you were him? Speaking about Endgame, both Infinity War and Endgame were filmed almost back to back over the course of 2017. That's a lot of film. Imagine one big supercut. Would you watch it? Just like reversing the snap in Endgame, sometimes characters just won't stay dead. In the comics, Jean Grey has been revived a total of 14 times. Believe it or not, the US government actually spent taxpayer dollars on a top secret project to determine if a fictional villain's superpower was possible. What they found out will shock you. They wanted to know if Thanos could snap his fingers while wearing the Infinity Gauntlet. They used a metal replica and found out that he actually couldn't. They spent a whopping $118,000 to find that out. What a waste of money. Did you know the MCU has its own secret police? This security detail is responsible for preventing leaks. They actually leave false information for leakers, so that when it does come out, they know who's to blame. They even have a super secret room called the Black Widow Room. It's a room located in Marvel Studios HQ. It has no windows and maximum privacy, where screenwriters can get their work done. Too bad they didn't manage to stop Tom Holland and stick him in that room, because he leaked MCU plot points seven times. Think you'd risk it like he did? Speaking of Tom Holland, have you ever wondered where some actors in the MCU got their inspiration from? Well, apparently Tom Holland drew his from none other than Michael J. Fox's Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Here's something you may have overlooked in the MCU films. There's actually two Infinity Gauntlets. Thanos had one, and the other sat in Odin's vault on Asgard. Could it have survived the destruction of Asgard? Possibly. So you think the second gauntlet will appear at some point? Speaking of Asgardians, did you know that Loki wasn't the only Marvel character with an animal counterpart? Like Alligator Loki. Thor has Throg, a frog with all the powers of Thor. He even has his own little hammer. Frognir. Did you know this? Loki actually came first. He appeared 13 years prior to Thor being introduced in the comics. Have you ever wondered if movie titles change in different languages? Well, Thor's did. Thor Ragnarok in Japan is known as the Mighty Thor Battle Royale. Think it's a better title than the original? Did you know the Hulk was originally gray? But due to several printing errors, he was changed to green instead. The Gray Hulk, however, has reappeared a few times since. Sometimes there's a big difference between the comics and the MCU, but this one went quite far. She-Hulk's origin was changed. In the comics, she nearly died from a mafia hit, and it was her cousin Bruce Banner that saved her, giving her his blood, which turned her into the titular She-Hulk. Whereas in the show, it was a spaceship, and it was her that saved him. Quite different. What do you think of the change? Think the comics were better? One hero that featured in the She-Hulk show was none other than Daredevil. But do you remember the terrible Daredevil film? Well, Fox actually wanted to make it a trilogy of films. Thankfully, the Elektra film flopped and put a stop to it. Did you know why Peter's ship is called the Milano? It's named after his crush in the 80s, Alyssa Milano. Marvel probably doesn't want you to know this, but Stan Lee, the father of Marvel, had a dark side. He hated sidekicks so much he would write them off, in the most gruesome ways possible. Is he the comics George R. R. Martin? Have you ever looked at a superhero and thought their powers might be lame? Well, I bet they weren't as useless as this next one. Ice cream. He can turn himself into any flavor of ice cream he wants. And finally, did you know there's a Japanese Spider-Man, otherwise known as Takuya Yamashiro? He got his powers from aliens, apparently. Totally different from our usual friendly neighborhood webhead. Do you think we'll see him in the new Spider-Verse film? Well, there we have it. 50 facts that I bet you didn't know, but now actually know about Marvel. I still can't believe the government actually wasted their money just to find out that Thanos couldn't snap his fingers wearing the gauntlet. Please remember to subscribe and let us know what you thought of the video by commenting down below. See you next time.